Good afternoon, everyone. So I had a problem, and uh, I believe I have solved that problem. My motorcycle had a leaking fork. So for all of us that own, at, that own motorcycles, we already know about those troubles, a leaking fork. They suck. Whenever you have a leaking fork, the fluid can go to the brake system. Then when you press your front brakes, you're not stopping because you have fluid all on your disc. That is dangerous. That is a complete no-no once you notice you have a leaking fork. So I did some research and uh, was trying to figure out what would be the best way to fix this fork before I have to send it to a mechanic so he can charge me an arm and a leg since I live in New York and you already know how that goes to fix this. So um, I looked up online, I saw some videos on YouTube and uh, I came across two videos. One, they had what they call a seal mate. Seal mate looks, appears to be a plastic item, you know, with a little claw at the tip and you just stick it into the fork seal, you know, do a 360 on it and it should solve the problem. However, it's 10 bucks. So I was like, darn it. The second item was a uh, risk racing, I believe. Risk racing fork doctor. Now, you know, that item looks amazing, you know, circular. It has a little hook as well, plastic device. Um the damn thing cost 24 bucks. So I was like, what the hell? Why should I spend 24 bucks for this? So I figured it out. I told myself, you know what? Let me just make my own device. And this is what I used. I used my scissor, a nail follow, if that's what you call it. And this item, it's also it's a sandpaper, I believe, whatever you call it, it's a sponge. Sandpaper sponge. And I have carved my own item. <laughs> you see this? I am not playing. Like, this is my replica of a seal mate. So, what I have done is, you know, cut a bit, made a claw like shape right here, cut, you know. Sand, sand this to the very tip of it. Sand that as well. And voila, my own seal mate. I'm gonna call it the A Weezy, the A Weezy mate, or the A Weezu, because I am that Weezu. <laughs> anyway, so use this. Went downstairs, bought me this, this actually did not come in handy, and the only device I needed, the only tool that worked. So, can't show you right now because I completed the, the task of fixing the fork seal, hopefully I did. Um, you will need to use a flathead to remove the dust seal. And I used uh, this bit right here. So I used this, remove the flat, um, re I'm sorry, remo remove the dust seal and um, I got right to the, the inner seal. And um, I used this handy dandy a Weezu device. Worked my way 360 around that fork, all right? Um, then after that, I came with the good old brake part cleaner. This right here, sprayed it, sprayed that fork, wiped it out, pumped the bike a bit, you know, sat on it, pressing that front brake, you know, making it go up and down, up and down. So a bit of oil, I proceed, I proceed with uh, spraying, wiping, pump again, spray, wipe. And by my fifth time, I did not see any 
oil whatsoever. So I believe I have fixed the problem. This. And um, I will be riding my bike tonight and for the next few days and I will be giving you an update. Um, with that being said, since I do have my little toolkit, I will demonstrate every single step on the next seal by next week. Because uh, the next seal, it's the, I'm sorry, the next fork, I'm sorry, the next fork, <laughs> the next fork is not leaking. However, before it starts to leak, I'm gonna do some cleaning. So next week I will be updating you with the left seat, left fork seal cleaning. And uh, yeah, ciao, ciao. Don't you go spending $24 when all you need is a credit card. Later guys.